Hey coders, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, please click subscribe and if you're a regular, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, I'll be sharing my experiences um, from UJ versus We Think Code. Um, let's get into it. Okay, let me start by telling you how I got into university. So I was very confused after my trick about what I really want to do. Um, but I had this thing that whatever I want to do, it has to involve mathematics. Like I don't want to do anything that doesn't want that that doesn't involve um, mathematics. So in a way, I was yeah, I was really 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 confused. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I majored in so I did a BSc in math in physical science majoring in chemistry and mathematics and then after six months i changed my major to physics and mathematics and the following year i then changed to computer suckers then i started with computer science and i actually fell in love with it didn't fall in love with computer science what happened was the first three months of computer science were so bad they were the worst I did not know what I was doing. I wrote my first test and that was theory. And that was cool because I passed it. I got like 80%, which was great. But then with the practicals that we had every Friday, I sucked. We were doing um, C++ and I just didn't know what I was doing. It was just new. Um, I just know, knew that I had to I like install code blocks and all those things. But I just, I'd go into lectures and I'd see them like working through it and I'd just be like... And then I remember my third project that I submitted, I had just copied it from the internet because I was like, I'm done. It's either I submit something that's blank or I just find something and I copy and paste it. So I did that and when i was so we we had the whole week they'd release it on monday and we'd have to submit it on like by friday morning and then tutors market on friday and you have to sit next to your tutor so i went there and this lady was my tutor and she was like you copied this from the internet i was like what no i did not <laughs> she was like no girl i know I was like, yeah, girl, I'm struggling. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly do not know what I'm doing. I don't understand what happens in lectures. Like, um, I don't know. And our exam that semester was practical, strictly practical. It was not theory. So I could not depend on theory. And the test that I wrote that I got 80%, it only counted like, counted 25%. And then the practicals that we were doing every week all in all they'd count 25 percent and then that is 50 percent your semester mark and then 50 percent from your exam but like i'm struggling girl <laughs> and she was like okay i'll have to give you zero because you cheated girl <laughs> i was like okay but she was like um but meet me on monday at six at the labs and i'll go through some things with you so i went there and it was a few of us i think four of us we went there and um she went through everything well we went i went there at six so it was seven eight nine ten eleven five hours and she was just going through everything and i understood um c plus plus and i actually passed with a distinction that semester so i was like actually this is so cool when i started to understand what i was doing i remember the last project was supposed to create a game and it was like i did this from scratch like on my own it is great i did that the first semester second semester it was more theory but it was still c plus plus so it was not so bad and then second year came the computer science too it was java I had this thing that I got this, but Java was just something else. Now we have to change our IDE. We are using Eclipse. It's no longer code blocks. And I was like, what? And things were starting to get hectic because I was majoring in computer science and mathematics. And mathematics was starting to get tricky. What's going on? And not only that, I was doing stats and applied mathematics. And I'm like, those are three modules that require a lot and now there's this one 
and it was not more about practicals then yes we were still submitting practicals on, on every friday but it just counted 25 percent so it was more off theory so i didn't really focus on practicals i was at that point i was just about passing like i'm going to cram because i don't have time to understand what's going on i'm just going to cram um at that point i was close to another girl who was doing who was majoring mathematics and applied maths and she had to do computer science too so and she was also struggling with practical so we were like let's master this theory let's know that the 75 percent that comes from theory we master it because java is something else you know and the lady who helped me the previous year was doing her honors so she was done so she was not there to help me so it was like i'm oh we all on our own and it was literally we would cram we would not understand a thing we would go to my room like spend the whole night there like what is my method what is a public class for that day and we would make it two days before we write so that we don't forget what we crammed <laughs> and we passed we actually did well i remember that semester i got 79 percent because of that theory so it was just more of because the other modules were like i said were giving me hell so i couldn't really spend time doing computer science whereas at we think code you focus on dev you know so and it's more practical and like i said i think in my previous video that i would have preferred that if i knew about we think code before i went to varsity i would have went to we think code before going to varsity because one i when i went to varsity i was not really sure what i wanted to do i just wanted anything that has to do with mathematics because also i felt that i did well in mathematics without even studying or practicing you know it was more about theory and it's just the anxiety of just study write pass next study write pass it's just you know i was i don't remember a thing at we think code it's more practical you know and there are people around that can help you as compared to varsity because i'd even go to i remember i went to a lecturer um he was like if you need a one-on-one -on -one before exams i went there and he was explaining and i was literally like he was like do you get me I'm like because the one-on-one -on -one, it's like if i say no it's gonna be like i'm stupid <laughs> so yeah i get you i guess and i think my biggest mistake was not associating myself with a group of people that actually do the same thing because but i'll get to that point because i wrote these points down but yeah we think it was more practical and like you apply for me i wish i did learn and understand things properly then when i had the chance even though i focused on the theory i wish i did learn and understand so that going to we think code it would just be me applying the knowledge that i have that's the first um point the second i went to university when i was not really confident and matured i didn't know how to make friends my mom used to work at, at uj so i'd just go to my mom i was not confident in making friends and asking questions even in writing like it was like okay campus forget whereas at we think code i went in with so much confidence i believed in myself like i remember when i went for boot camp in my mind i had this thing and see i'm going to make it i have no choice like there's no other way if i have to ask the entire time like raise i literally had my hand up throughout the boot camp that's how the the, the boot camp assistants knew me okay they didn't know my name but they knew this girl whatever her name is she's been asking questions and i just there was just no room for failure because i was that confident that this is it like there's there's no other way and i still have this thing which this is it like i'm going to my second internship after i'm gonna get a proper job and that is it like i know what i want to do now and unlike when i was at uj i just i just even even changing the modules like changing from chemistry it was a thing of okay i love hair let me do chemistry so that i can create a dye someday in my life or create hair products and then after some time i realized that mm, i love hair but i don't like making products i have to learn all these things now i have to know the periodic periodic table 
off by heart what the hell no i changed to physics it was like okay it's more like mathematics knowing the theorems but then what am i gonna do afterwards does that mean i have to to research i tried to search jobs and i was like uh, okay i'm doing it uh, mathematics it's like okay i have a math i have mathematics and i can do a lot of things you can do a lot of things with mathematics but also it's like uh, i'm doing it because i did well in matrix so so when i did do computer science i had this into okay now that now now now, now, now this something you know now i got something and then to the next point i didn't make friends my biggest mistake was that i didn't make friends and that i feel like it costed me a lot in varsity like i said my mom worked at uj so she was my only friend she would she'd even try to chase me away like go go make friends even her boss would be like no i do you here <laughs> i'd be like yeah because after class i'd go to my mom's office and if i don't have any other class i'd have lunch with her until she leaves at four o'clock and then i'm like oh have to go to rest and they'd lock myself in there were people like there, there was this girl who tried to be my friend i'd literally lock myself inside so that she just doesn't so that we don't hang out like i don't want to hang out and she'd be like oh let's go to this place and i'd find an excuse like i i i don't know i just yo i don't know guys i don't know if i didn't want to be there or i was just so unsure oh right but i think my biggest mistake was not making friends because that made me struggle when i couldn't understand anything and not even just friends like a group of people that you know okay with physics because we were forced to do tutorials and practicals in teams i got to know people but then they were not doing the same stream as i was so they're doing applied maths and physics so i could only ask them questions about those things so when i started majoring in mathematics and computer science i didn't have any friends i didn't have people to talk to like when i have problems i struggled with computer science and thank god i had this one friend that i could cram with <laughs> which is why i admire the fact that at we think code they encourage this peer-to-peer -peer thing because it makes it forces you to talk to people and to create a group of people that you can rely on you know i the first few days okay after boot camp because we were doing python when we when the cohort started i was confused and if i didn't talk to people and what is nice is that there were actually people who would offer to help like you'd see on slack like anyone who needs help just ping me or hey i created a discord channel anyone who needs help should you know go there so even if you were shy to ask for help to to go to someone and actually be like hey can you help me there were actually channels where you could just raise your hand without being seen you know and then imposter syndrome like i felt like i didn't belong at uj besides my studies i like get race there's race culture i feel like race culture makes you like get together make friends i just i hated it so much like every sunday we'd have meetings and i'm like do i do i really have to like i'd literally go away to that go home friday and not come back on sunday so that i don't attend their meetings just come back monday morning just to avoid being with other people i don't know what was wrong with me like i really felt like i did not belong and i do still have imposter syndrome especially in tech um mainly because it's dominated by men i think and just sometimes i just feel like Ish, i don't catch on quickly you know they are at we think code like there are people like who have experience and you can just see them kind of like and it, for me it's still like i'm still learning and i think sometimes when i struggle with something the thought that ish i'm not figuring this out maybe i don't belong comes every now and then but then it goes away i'm like varsity Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. um and then the last thing um having all those points and uj made me depressed like because by the end i just felt like i did not belong i did not have any purpose why am i doing this what am i doing exactly i made yes i'm majoring in computer science and mathematics i have interest in computer science but why am i doing mathematics so at that point i was just like just a walking zombie i just lost my purpose at varsity i wanted to do a lot of things like try out modeling start a youtube channel but 
there was just something holding me back and i think that made me like not even i don't know i don't know the word like that made me depressed like i don't have like i'm doing this but i'm not happy and everyone is stressing this thing to qualification qualification need and the pressure because it's like you're doing bsc mathematical science majoring mathematics and computer science ha ah! <laughs> There's this pressure that you're very smart. You're a smart person. And in my mind, I'm like, mm -hmm, I'm not even happy. If only you knew I'm not even happy. I don't know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. So, so I got depressed and that's when I, that's when I took some time, started my channel, got into modeling, started a hair business, doing hair. And I worked in sales even to find, I think working in sales made me also build my character and my confidence because now you have to sell something to someone, you know, you need to convince them this, I'm shy, I can't make friends, I can't talk to people. I had to stop because you need to make money. You need to talk to people so that you make money, you know? So that built my character. So going to Weezing Code, I was already just strong, thick skinned, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm hungry for it, you know? I'm hungry for it and I'm gonna put my mental health first. Cause at UJ, even though I was depressed, there was psychhead, I remember walking into psychhead and what happened? There was a problem, but they told me that I have to come back in an hour. I don't know if they said the psychologist will be in back in an hour or what. But when I walked in and they were like, in an hour, I was like, never coming back but so i prioritized my mental health when i went to rethink code i saw um a counselor every now and then and even though like there were there was so much pressure because not having a lecturer just depending on snacks like in the curriculum it's new so so i didn't want any mistakes so i prioritized my mental health and that helped a lot so yeah the, the, those are my experiences of, of uj versus we think code I, I i didn't i i'm not really gonna talk about we think code a lot because i have a video where i spoke about my first year and if you want more details about we think code like my experience at we think code you can watch that but thank you for watching up until this point i i i hope you did enjoy this video please give this video a thumbs up Comment down below about your varsity experiences, your We Think Code experiences, or just if you're self-taught, tell me about your experiences. And do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. I am aiming to monetize this channel, so I need like a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time um, so that, yeah, it gets monetized. So that's my goal. So please do subscribe. Don't just watch. Subscribe. And until the next one, bye.